So we're out here now, and we're on Adira, Maine. Just pulled a chunk of random rock off bedrock, and there's a little bit of calcopyrite on it. So always interesting when you see that just kicking around your host rock. There's a little creek running up here. Take a look at this. I found this on the side of the road. This is massive magnetite. That is an awesome sample. Now we just have to find where this comes from. Found another piece there. As you can see, it is magnetic. Search this entire quarry and there's no uh, indications that massive magnetite hunk came from in here. Over here you have an area with a little bit of disseminated pyrite and calcopyrite. Driving up the road a little bit, we found some more interesting areas with mineralization. There's one over here and one over there. And as you can see, you have disseminated iron pyrite. Definitely pyrotized. It's very loose. I think we'll pull a sample off here just to take a better look. There's obviously something going on here. We have another giant shear here. This one is uh, about one to two meters wide, varying, but you can see just how oxidized the area is from your iron pyrite. Again, I don't see any major mineralization other than disseminated iron pyrite. And we have another massive gossinous area. This is about 20 meters wide. Hugely oxidized. I picked up a couple samples on the ground and uh, right away I saw disseminated iron pyrite. We're going to poke around here and uh, see what else we can see. The area, it goes from over here all the way over to there. Three separate samples from three parts of bedrock. You have a little bit of iron pyrite. We're just going to bag a sample here, just in case we decide to analyze any of this in the future. We have another one of these disseminated mineral zones with disseminated iron pyrite. And uh, this is probably about the 10th one we've actually passed. And uh, we're just not gonna stop at the mall right now because we're we're doing uh, a little exploring and we're just trying to get a look for the area. Uh, but there's definitely a ton of these little zones all over the place. 
So we just stopped because I saw this little interesting area. Right here, you just have a random patch of malachite. Looks like there could be some mineralization in there. A little bit of oxidation here, a little alteration zone. I'm going to hammer a little bit out. You got your silicus rock in here coming up through there. Looks like back in there you have a little more malachite staining. So we'll hammer a little bit off and see if there's anything here. We have a bit of calcopyrite here and pyrite. And that is from back in here. Right off the wall right here. Look at the calcopyrite in this sample. This is very nicely mineralized. And it's all in this area here, this alteration area down here too and another thing I noticed is this alteration area goes all across this top here right here I just pulled this sample out here take a look massive calcopyrite Gorgeous sample. We're going to open this up a little bit and uh, see what's here. A couple more samples broken off from right here. Absolutely gorgeous mineralization. Four more samples removed from that outcrop, and they are nice. Look at the calcopyrite. Beautifully mineralized, massive calcopyrite. Can't ask for better samples than these when you're just doing recon. Awesome samples. We've already got some beautiful ones here. Definitely going to be bagging and tagging a bunch of these and uh, sitting to the lab. <laughs> 